releasing at least 100 times more radiation than the atom bombs dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant is responsible for history's worst man-made disaster. Today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things, let's break down the meltdown and take a look at what's still standing. On April 26, 1986, during a routine test at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, pressure began building in reactor number four. Rapidly exploding, it released deadly radiation into the air immediately. Nuclear rain fell as far away as Ireland. Chernobyl was in full disaster mode, despite comforting words from officials just three months earlier. Yes, believe it or not, in February that same year, Ukraine's Minister of Power and Electrification publicly stated that the odds of a meltdown at Chernobyl's nuclear power plant were 1 in 10,000 years. All residents within six miles of the plant were forced to evacuate. To try to put them at ease, the Pripyat Amusement Park briefly opened ahead of schedule during the evacuation. The park, slated to have its grand opening on May 1st, operated for just a few hours following the fallout. Today, with radiation levels in some parts of the park still dangerously high, the rides remain eerily unridden and rusty. The reactor responsible for the disaster was entombed in a sarcophagus of steel and concrete to contain the radiation, but it started leaking. Luckily, a new cover for the reactor was completed in 2016. This mighty arch is billed as the largest movable land-based structure ever built and is seen as an important step toward ultimately dismantling the still dangerous reactor. The cover, which is tall enough to contain the Statue of Liberty and spans nearly the length of three football fields, is designed to secure the site for at least 100 years. But not everything is hunky-dory. Today, there is still a structure at the heart of the plant known as the elephant's foot that is incredibly radioactive. A melted lava-like mixture, the elephant's foot is so deadly that 30 seconds of exposure will cause severe dizziness. Within two minutes, cells begin to hemorrhage. Five minutes, it's fatal. As it continues to melt through the concrete base of the power plant, the city remains uninhabitable. What stands now is a post-apocalyptic view of Eastern Europe before the fall of the Iron Curtain. Although risky, this snapshot of history attracts a number of tourists. Those seeking to explore Chernobyl's exclusion zone, an 18-mile radius of contaminated land around the power plant, can join a tour as long as they sign a waiver warning against touching anything, even sitting on the ground. At the end of their expedition, body scanners must test for high levels of radiation. Would you take the chance to visit the exclusion zone? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Sabrina Sieg, and I'll be back here next week with more cool stuff and strange things.